Mike here. So we're trying to make ice. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet because uh, I could ramble on for quite a while. And this is the first video I've done on this. Uh, if you ever watched my videos before, you might know I do work with two-phase thermosiphon some. Uh, I am in southwestern Pennsylvania. It's in the high 20s right now, early December. Uh, I'm trying to make as much ice as I can, uh, even with a very small delta T, small temperature difference, just below freezing. It would take several days to freeze a bucket like this solid at this temperature. You know, let's say it's 28, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. If we get down lower temperatures, of course, I could probably freeze that solid more quickly. However, I want to make as much ice as I can in a mild winter. So we have a two-phase thermosiphon. We have a piece of copper pipe down there that's one inch with a copper cross manifold at the top, four pieces of half inch copper tubing, five eighth inch OD going up, terminating at the top. They're not connected together, but they are sealed individually. Each one of them has its own sheet of aluminum. This is a Omega thermal transfer plate that you would use for PEX tubing and a floor heating system. Um, and then they are drilled through and riveted together. There is a small thin sheet of aluminum in the middle. Uh, structurally, they have some pieces of all thread going through. Uh, internally, here's a Schrader valve here. Inside we have um, propane. This is not MD5 barbecue grade propane that I was working with before. This is R290. Uh, it's actually pretty pure. Doesn't have the stink oil, the mercaptan, sulfurous oil in there. So, uh, Probably a lot better heat transfer inside the pipe. I did have two earlier versions. This is the very first version. This is a loop two-phase thermosiphon. Um, there's a trap down there. There's a sight glass. It has a specified evaporator inside the bucket. And then a condenser, very limited condenser surface area. Uh, evaporator surface area is pretty good. Um, however, if I freeze that in a bucket, I can't get it out. Um, I did get a quarter of an inch ice or so on it in some mild uh, below freezing temperatures. However, with this style here, I can actually give this thing a twist um, once it's frozen solid and get this, this shaft out of there. The very bottom of it is not capped in a normal sense, it's more plugged. I spun a little piece of copper that fits inside. So it's as small, if not smaller, than the, the, uh, the shaft, the, the neck there. Uh, like I said, it has R290 in it, so it's a little cleaner. I try to keep the inside of this relatively clean because what drives this device is the heat of the water itself um, relative to the outdoor temperatures. So if it's 25 degrees Fahrenheit outside, I have 7 degrees Fahrenheit delta T approximately to work with in order to get this, this to freeze a little less, whatever. Um, now, certain devices, uh, say if I have limited surface area, it might take 10 degrees delta T in order to get it to function. Um, maybe this one takes two or three degrees, you know. Um, the, the more delta T you have, the faster it's going to work. However, I'm already kind of getting limited here. This, uh, this, this is two days of growth here, and it was basically right here yesterday. Um, I did bust it up a little bit and it refroze, but this is pretty much where it was after 24 hours, you know, at... 25 26 degrees fahrenheit let's say on average um, so um I, plastic bucket gotta go to stainless um need a different system a different shape uh, i don't want to go too thin uh, but i do want to try to increase my um my surface area per unit of volume to some degree so um this was a pretty neat experiment um colder temperatures it would i'm sure it would freeze faster and bigger um, I am going to go to a steam table pan. These are the two I had sitting around. Um, this is a little too small. It's a two and a half inch. This is a six inch. I think it's a third or a quarter. But um, I'm going to go for some um, six inch longs, bulls. So they're three or four times the volume of this. And maybe mess with laying down a um, two-phase thermosiphon in it diagonally to try to get the center to freeze more rapidly. And then with that stainless, it should should freeze from the outside in a little quicker. Um, of course, I could put it on a wire rack, you know, up there, get a little more wind against it. Um, yeah, so if you're trying to figure out why the hell I'm trying to make a bunch of ice um, rather than just being patient and getting a bucket of a frozen bucket or whatever, uh, you check out my blog. I, I did write some some stuff here a few months back talking about the reason for doing this um uh it has to do with with refrigeration so and it's just something to do so thanks for watching